Hey guys welcome back to my channel. I just wanna start off by saying, thank you all for commenting on my video and boosting my content I really appreciate it. And to all the people saying I should be embarrassed for sharing my personal opinion on a public website. I just wanted to remind you that, scrolling and disliking is a free service. And if you think that a gacha tuber with trashy spelling dissing your favs is the end of the world please touch some grass. Like some of y'all sounded like y'all were gonna pop a blood vessel in those comments. That being said PLS don't doxx me I'm just a kid with bad music taste. Calm down. Anyways on to the video. Okay so as you can see I decided to stray from the thumbnail a bit, and I'm now deciding to quote unquote hate or bash idols that are controversial but still have extremely horrible music. I'm doing this because I genuinely do not have the time and energy to sit here and talk about other K-pop groups that aren't as controversial, knowing that people are just gonna comment, borderline calling me ghetto, because I dropped a few cuss words while saying their faves music is boring, and I know technically, I can just ignore the comments, but knowing how impulsive I am that's probably not gonna happen. Anyways, on to Jay Parkus. I genuinely feel like Jay Park fans are not real. Like do y'all actually exist? Because if you do him I ask you to stand the fuck up. Because literally at this point there isn't a minority group that he hasn't disrespected. But aside from that his music is absolutely horrid. That shit is so bad even country music is better than that shit. Like mom or whatever the fuck the name is was so ass that I genuinely had an asthma attack while trying to listen to it. Not even Shindong's ugly ass would be capable of making such shit music. And you know when I said I'd rather kiss Jay Park's ass than listen to one of Stray Kid's new albums? I take it back because I just remembered how much I hate this bitch. Jay Park stands please stand up he is not that cute I promise y'all are victims for real. Okay so I'm gonna start this section off by saying I've lost all respect for Hyuna at this point. While I do think that she is very brave for dating publicly, especially in an industry where it's extremely frowned upon and could potentially ruin your whole career, I believe that as a woman, why would you date a man who is related to the Burning Sun scandal and is literally involved with the sexual harassment assault of multiple other women? Mind you she posted this publicly, like people were gonna support her, and y'all were calling me embarrassing. Anyways this leads me to my point as someone that preaches women empowerment in your music as far as I know. To then go on to date a sex offender is crazy. This makes her music feel fake and fabricated. And her newest song Nabila is a prime example of that. Hey, so Trini, every time the man of that offend me, don't they stay in the never puppy give me. I'm gonna know that I'm gonna tell them back by now. 